Hi, I'm Reverend Tom Kearns. Welcome to 333 Magic 9, where the tarot cards and astrology stars come together to help you. By combining the visual messages of the tarot and the energy of astrology, you can be prepared for the opportunities and challenges coming your way. I hope you will like this video and also press the little bell for notifications when my new videos come out. The tarot card for the first week of the month is the Nine of Wands. It represents strength and determination. The tarot card for the second week is the Six of Swords. It represents moving through emotional difficulty to peace. The tarot card for the third week is the King of Wands. It represents self-expression and new opportunities. And the tarot card for the fourth week is the Two of Cups. It represents a good partnership and balance. Sagittarius, the tarot card for the first week of the month is the Nine of Wands. It shows a man with a bandage on his head holding a wand in his hand. Eight other wands stand behind him. This card suggests that you have fought and won a number of battles. However, you are not quite done. There may still be a contest ahead, but you are prepared and you have proven yourself. You have strength, determination, and the ability to go the distance. Now, as we look down into the astrology, the month begins with Jupiter in your fifth house of pleasure, in opposition to Venus in your 11th house of associates. This is an excessive combination of energy and suggests self-control is needed with spending money, self-indulgence, and big plans. You need to understand what you are trying to achieve through your group involvements. You must be willing to keep your boundaries. The enemy is peer pressure. Mercury goes direct in your 10th house, which can help with ideas to succeed, especially in your career. Mercury will trine Pluto in the third house, which helps you deepen your ideas and helps you sell them. The tarot card for the second week of the month is the Six of Swords. The card shows a woman and child being taken across a body of water by a man. The water on the right side is rough, and this suggests past emotional difficulties. But the water on the left is calm. This signifies you are leaving a difficult emotional situation and will soon find better conditions in your life. Your emotions will heal and you will be prepared for the future. Now, as we look down into the astrology, the second week opens with Pluto going direct in your second house of money and resources. This may bring you an opportunity to develop some of your latent talents and an ability to make more money. Whew. The full moon will ask for cooperation in social situations that help you network to get ahead. The sun and Venus will try Saturn in your third house focusing your energy on communicating ideas efficiently. You must know what to say to be effective. Then Mars will square Neptune, and this warns you not to be vague. You must keep your focus on creating personal security. The tarot card for the third week of the month is the King of Wands. Now, this king has appeared in this position last month as well. So, this is a trend, so you should pay attention to this energy. This king sits on a powerful throne and looks ready for action. This is a creative energy that represents a need to follow your vision and your goals. So, find a new opportunity, for you have the energy and ability to take it on. Use the power of positive thinking to help achieve success. This is an excellent card for problem solving and asserting your inner power. You may take a chance or make an investment. Now, as we look into the astrology, 
The third week brings a complex Sun, Venus, Pluto, and Mars setup that can keep you guessing which way to go. The Sun and Venus in your 11th house of associates and networking both trine Mars in the seventh house of partners and coming before the public. This can bring a sense of connection and camaraderie and an opportunity to understand what you need to do to get ahead. Support others' goals as well, and you will gain their help. But a square from the Sun and Venus down here to Pluto in your second house of money and resources warns you to be aware of what you're spending. Protect what you value the most, and that must be your reputation. The tarot card for the last week of the month is the Two of Cups. This card shows two people sharing their loving cups. Above them is a winged lion's head and a staff on which two snakes are intertwined. This suggests the balance of opposite forces, both on the physical and spiritual level. This card can suggest a new partnership or love relationship coming your way. It should be beneficial since the card does represent balance. Now the fourth week begins with a new moon in your 12th house and Saturn having just gone direct in your third house down here. So the moon brings sensitivity and hidden emotional intensity while Saturn ask you to control yourself and watch what you say to people. So focus your mind and stay centered. This will be very important as Mars begins his long retrograde period in your seventh house of business and personal relationships. Your desires and actions with partners may come into review. So measure your future potential by the quality of the cooperation that you give and receive from others. Hi, I'm Reverend Tom Kearns, and this is my story. If you are a spiritual seeker, it may help you on your journey. I believe your spiritual development is as important as your religion. If you look at Christianity, it focuses on the life of Jesus. But Jesus was never a Christian. He was Jewish. If this thought intrigues you, you'll enjoy my new book, Light from Water, Freeing Jesus. It's available on Amazon.com and through fine bookstores. And it may help you on your spiritual journey. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Please like this video, subscribe, and ring the little bell to be notified when new videos come out. And if you'd like to arrange a private psychic and spiritual reading with astrology, just go to my website, internetpsychicreadings.com or professorastrology.com.